first question of the day, how many Sams can you see in this shot? We've got lots of reflections happening around here. <laughs> Anyways, for today's video, we are filming sandwiches triples, which are triple sandwiches. I guess these are gonna have three layers of bread. And we're eating at one of our favorite eateries in all of Lima. This place is called Manolo. And they specialize in churros, but they also have these humongous sandwiches. So we're back here again. So Sam, can you count how many times we've been here already? I have no idea. I mean, the first time we came to Lima last year, I think this is the first restaurant we ever we ever went to together. Yeah. So that's kind of special. And we've had everything from sandwiches to lasagna to like just giant pieces of lemon meringue pie. And we've also had churros here as well. So we're going for the sandwiches right now. Our food has arrived and I asked our waiter, is this sandwich big enough to share between two people? And he was like, oh no, this is small, it's a personal size. Have a look at this. Are you kidding me? Personal size? That is massive. And that's not even the biggest one. The biggest one is, is the other it's one the with one chicken. you're having. And the other thing I'm noticing is that this only has two layers of bread. So I'm a bit confused because I, I assumed if it's called triple, it would have three layers of bread but apparently not so now we don't even know what a triple sandwich means maybe it's three ingredients who knows but this one's mine it has avocado ham and tomato so let's dig in I think it may be the case that there's the filling, like there's so many toppings and fillings put into the sandwich that there just is no room for an extra layer of bread. Exactly. That's, that's a big mouthful right there. I'm dropping it all over me. Oh yeah, that's nice. I'm gonna grab my napkin and dab dab because I can feel I have mayo all over my face. But yeah, that's good. It's a nice thick slice of fluffy white bread. And I like that the slices of avocado and tomato are really thick. So now it's your turn, Sam. Tell us what's in your sandwich. Yes, and mine is very similar to yours, except for the fact that it has a generous amount of chicken stuffed inside too. So let's not delay, I'm just gonna bite right in. So that is shredded chicken, avocado, and tomato. Wow. Yeah. They really make some of the best sandwiches here at Manolo's, like it just never disappoints. Like this is just amazing. There's so much avocado and so much chicken and just the bread is so fluffy. It's just it's amazing. And you know what else? They gave us a key, this spicy yellow sauce. So I think you should add some to your sandwich. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put some spice. Oh wow, that's that's a lot of spice. It's a massive amount. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> Your mouth is going to be on fire. Oh. That was way too much. Yeah, too hot oh, to yeah. handle. <laughs> oh, I'm suffering here. So I have barely finished my first piece and Sam's already done his, or just about. Yeah, pretty much. And what makes this sandwich really unique is that it doesn't have crust. It's similar to the sandwich de miga that we were eating in Argentina as well. And that's just, it's, it's really cool because you're just eating the, the white part of the bread. Yeah. And you can tell that they make their bread homemade here. Like it's, it's just really good quality. Except I have to say, these are way thicker than what you find in Argentina. Oh. The sandwiches there are super thin and light. Yeah, these are, these are proper <laughs> sandwiches. These are pro this is a proper meal. Yeah. up half my sandwich in order to make room for dessert. But the good news is that now we can have churros. So have a look over here. These are the regular churros. So it's basically this long strip of deep fried dough with a little bit of sugar on top. And we also have these special ones which are filled with manjar blanco which is quite similar to dulce de leche. And that's not all. We also got hot chocolate so thick that Sam just calls it sauce. 
This is chocolate sauce. It's oh, not even hot I chocolate. I call it chocolate sludge. Sludge. Chocolate sludge. <laughs> but look at how thick it is. It's so rich. Ooh, let's oh. dig in. All right, show us what we came for. So we're going to start off with just a regular churros here because it is perfect for dunking in the chocolate sauce. And I don't just dunk it. I drown mine in there. Look at that. It's he drowns. It drowns, drowns it. it in chocolate. Drown it in chocolate. Look oh how much my. chocolate there is. Look at that. Oh, it's so hot too. <laughs> this is what we came for. <laughs> oh yeah. And what really makes it is is the is the chocolate, the hot chocolate. Because it's so thick and so rich and creamy. So you are going for the premium one. Oh yeah. Look at that. With a manhar blanca. Dipped in chocolate. Seriously. That, does it get any more decadent than that? I don't think so. <laughs> You've got so much chocolate covering it that you can't even see the manhar blanca. Mm. That combination is just spectacular. And this is fresh out of the fryer. Seriously? The filling is still ooey and gooey, and then you've got the chocolate and the sugar sprinkled all over. I just love this. I really do. Oh. Mm. I wish I could get this for breakfast every single day of my life, but I probably wouldn't be very good for my health. You know, Sam, you haven't noticed, but I'm eating this very quickly, so you better get yours fast. <laughs> so this is a fun part for you, Sam, isn't it? Yes, the churros are long gone, but there is still a little bit of that amazing chocolate sludge left. So there's no way I'm going to leave this place with any of that left. Let's not waste chocolate now. It's like the best hot chocolate you've ever had. And then some. All right, so time to do the math. What's the price point for this meal? So it came to 80 soles, and so that's basically just over 20 US dollars. But it's amazing value when you consider... Yes, yes. It's amazing value when you consider that we had two massive sandwiches, a drink, two different kinds of churros and hot chocolate. So we are leaving here very full. Want to show us your belly? <laughs> Ciao.